Ulcerative colitis is uh, what we call a chronic inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD. Uh, we don't really know what causes it. Um, it's kind of autoimmune. It means that your uh, genes play a role and probably something in the environment that we haven't exactly identified. The symptoms are rectal bleeding and diarrhea and the urgent need to use the restroom. Patients can be quite ill with uh, this disease uh, at times. Somewhere in the range of uh, six or 700,000 uh, patients in the United States have ulcerative colitis. Another six or 700,000 patients uh, have uh, another form of inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease. So somewhere in the range of 1.2, maybe to as many as 1.5 million uh, patients in the United States will suffer with inflammatory bowel disease. Patients uh, injected themselves with the anti-TNF drug uh, galimumab at week zero and again at week two, and then we followed the patients out through week six and evaluated them for the primary endpoint of the trial at week six. And already by two weeks, we could see a very nice response where uh, various measures of inflammation had dropped uh, substantially from what they were before treatment. I think there's a continued uh, gain for patients over time, but you can really begin to see uh, a nice benefit for patients as early as two weeks into therapy. So it works pretty quickly. It can be administered by the patient in their home or workplace, wherever they want to take it. And so the patient can really drive their own therapy. It has the efficacy of a biologic therapy with the convenience of patient self-administration. So it, it's quite an interesting drug for patients, I think. And you can lead to uh, clinical response and remission and even healing of the bowel at uh, endoscopy or colonoscopy. And th those are the things that we saw uh, with golimumab treatment in this trial. Basically what uh, that drug does is it blocks white blood cells from moving from your blood vessels out into the colon. And if you can keep white blood cells out of the colon, you can block inflammation and treat ulcerative colitis. And the results of, of clinical trials with golimumab look very promising as well for inducing and maintaining remission in patients with ulcerative colitis. And I expect that that drug will be reviewed by the FDA over the next uh, year or so. And I would say uh, three years out or so that we're going to have a number of new treatment options for patients with ulcerative colitis, and five or six years out we'll have many new treatment options. So uh, I, I suppose it's never a good time to get ulcerative colitis, but if you have to have it, this isn't a bad time.